Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and welcome to the weekly news roundup from the Trust. I'm here in our pharmacy department, which plays a key part in our COVID vaccination programme. It's been another very, very busy week here at the Trust. We've had a significant influx of patients with COVID-19 and sadly, more deaths. But there's an enormous amount of optimism about the vaccine as more and more people get protected. We've also seen the launch of a new homegrown course that helps treat poorly children at home. And of course, we've had snow, lots of it, but our staff and our local community have rallied together to help keep as many services running as they could. More of that in a moment. But first, 140 people a minute in England are now being given the COVID-19 jab. But how does the vaccine make it to our vaccination hub in the first place? Preparing large quantities of the Pfizer vaccine for use is a delicate process. It relies on the expertise of a specialist team of pharmacists working behind the scenes at the Trust. Here's lead pharmacist Ikram Ali to explain more. We've been quite heavily involved in COVID in regards to uh, preparing batches for the wards in clinical trials and also here in the vaccine centre uh, making vaccines for patients. Processes involved over here are quite obviously they're quite repetitive but they're quite complicated at the same time and we need to make sure that they, they are correct. So what, what's going on behind me is we have one of the pharmacy technicians, uh, Liz, who is diluting the vials and once she's diluted these, we're doing them in a number of batches. The technicians also behind me uh, will be drawing up the number of doses and then passing these over to the nurses as and when they come. We don't tend to be out anywhere else and so seeing the nurses and kind of integrating with them, it's quite a nice feeling because we tend to just do all the complicated stuff in the background and no one ever hears about us. So it's nice to be here and be a part of it. And I think it's so vital that we obviously all kind of work together and work as one, which is really important. Thanks, Ikram. It's great to appreciate all the hard work going on to keep the hub running so well. Now, even though COVID has placed a lot of pressure on the NHS, innovation is still thriving at the Trust. One example is the Enhanced Paediatric Nursing Skills course developed by our paediatrics team. This trains nursing staff in how to treat more poorly children at home where they can get better night's sleep in their own beds. Here's consultant paediatrician Matt Matai and Megan Dale, our Health Education England Fellowship Lead, to tell you more. The Enhanced Paediatric Nursing Skills course has really been uh, the result of a vision across West Yorkshire and Harrogate, being birthed really from the Ambulatory Care Experience Service, our hospital at home service. Um, to really keep children happy, healthy and at home. We've been really challenged with the issues around COVID and keeping sick children at home has been a real priority. So the course is really there to equip nurses um, with some additional skills that can allow them to um, complete an enhanced assessment of a child and that can be used in a variety of areas like enhanced triage or enhanced community assessment, a hospital or home service. For me, um, just a quote with Ruth Ginsburg, um, real change happens one step at a time. And for me, this course is about um, giving that one step um, to allow different organisations from across the country um, to transform their services um, in a way that allows children and young people and their families to be, as Matt said, happy, healthy and at home. Well done to the team. It's so inspiring to see new ideas happening despite all the COVID challenges. Now, let's find out what else has been making the headlines across the Trust, including the amazing teamwork during the snow. I'd just like to thank our snow hero, Joanne Varley. She went out of her way to make sure everybody got home safe. She also gave one of our members of staff a lift home all the way over in Leeds, even though it was out of her way. So thank you, Joanne, from everyone at Cardiology. I would urge you, uh, when you get the opportunity to have the vaccine, grab it, please, with both hands and help us to keep yourselves and your loved ones safe too.
They're absolutely fantastic, Joe. A really lovely way to brighten up the ward. And finally, an example of how the pandemic continues to bring out the best in people wanting to help others. Local care home owner David Crabtree has volunteered to be a vaccinator in our vaccination hub. It's a return to Bradford Royal Infirmary for David, who started his nursing career here 50 years ago. Thanks to the kind help of David and many, many more like him, we're able to roll out our vaccination programme at full speed. Here's David and Chief Nurse Karen Dorber with this great story and to explain how you too can get involved. The reason I've come back is I've witnessed um, people, residents I've cared for for many years dying of COVID and I feel passionate that we should all do our bit. I started here as a cadet nurse at BRI and St Luke's in 1971. If we've got any volunteering skills, clerical or uh, non-clinical, then please volunteer. It's essential that people like David do come back, especially with somebody with David's rich history. We're looking at giving, as a city, around about a million vaccinations over the next six to 12 months. That's an awful lot of time to prepare to deliver those vaccines. So any help that you, our community, can give is gratefully received. Thank you so much, David. It's really great to have you on board. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. And please remember, even with the vaccine, we must all still follow the guidelines and keep each other safe. Stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.